Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to simplify the water uh, sweet potato in watercolor. So, I just do the sketch for simply, simply the sketch with a pencil. So you can check the this link if you want to. And now I just want to make a neutral color before I start the color on here. So. Even the water, and I'm using this size of uh, paintbrush, watercolor paintbrush, and then this is the, my simple limited palette over here. So, firstly, I'm using Van Dyke Brown, which is my favorite for neutral color, and this is um, ultramarine blue, so they're easy to make a um, great tones of. Color. But this color, this color of the um, sweet potato is quite a warm, so I'm just make sure warm gray color over here. So this is quite a dark pot. So I'm going to do the same tones of the shadow like that. It's not really watery over here, a bit of a dry. Because this paper is not water, watercolor pa paper, so just no more paper in here. And dip in the water a little bit. I'm adding more Van Dyke Brown. It's gonna be in dark accent over here. It's kind of starting point of the shadow, which means the object on the table. As I can say, so it's from darkness starting here and consistently gradient. It makes sure always uh, dry up properly when you're using the normal paper like here, and then you can add in more, more color. Okay, so before I'm starting the color. I make sure a little detail over here first. I'm not worried about too much detail in this watercolor station. Just simplify, but and then there's no any pressure. Just make a fun. You see, there's a little detail over here. So just a little bit. And then here as well. There. Even though I'm going to do the color here, over here, but before I start, I just feel like to simplify up detail. It's not a realistic vegetables painting. But at least I can try like a little hairy stuff as well. You can see here slightly light line. You can grab like this your brush like uh, when you feel like holding the pencil when you're doing writing something like an essay or journal. Or writing you're holding the pencil like that also is the same thing I mean it's my personal opinion okay now I'm going to do the second layer of this watercolor Van Dyke Brown so I'm going to do using the Van Dyke Brown and Pamela Rose here I love this color of pomeran rose. It's not too red, but it's not too purplish color. So it's just medium tone. So it's suitable for um, sweet potato at this point. This is medium tone. And then 
is going to be more brighter than this. I'm adding more water and then permanent rose. It's too red, so I'm just going to add more brownish color, like a Van Dyke brown, and then control with the water. Like a purplish and rose color over here. And then, even though this part is quite bright, but I'm just doing more here. Because here is gonna be put, I put the dark accent over there. And then just simplify and ultramarine blue and adding more water on that brown. Also, whenever I choose a subject of watercolor thing, I don't really plan a lot. I'm just grab. I just um, went to the kitchen and grab something. What I need to paint today, and then I'm just think, okay, this one is quite interesting. So I just grab it from the fridge or even cupboard, and then I just paint simply. Just two or five minutes painting like that so i think today is done hope you guys enjoy your painting if you want to follow my painting step by step you can just start right now there's no any pressure okay thank you for watching my video hope you enjoy today bye